Archie and Coco uh, found a way to get out from their fenced-in backyard. They made a hole through the fence. Um, parents realized they were missing around 5.30 yesterday evening. Uh, while looking for them, I found this heat signature, which turned out to be a fox, only to then turn around and sure enough find Archie and Coco curled up, uh, sleeping next to each other, probably where they spent the night. Uh, I'm not sure if the fox was curious or if the fox was hungry, but I figured it's easier to scare the fox away with the drone, and that way Archie and Coco wouldn't get spooked and wouldn't run away themselves. So I played a little cat and mouse with the fox on the side of this bush here, back and forth, back and forth, until the fox finally ran away, and then called mom to start the recovery process. So, enjoy! So not exactly the best footage. I'm probably making you dizzy, but um, I was literally just flying the drone uh, fast left, fast right, just trying to scare the fox, not so much trying to capture good footage uh, with the drone. But uh, it got the, got the point accomplished, scared the fox away, and uh, that's pretty much what we were looking to do anyway. So. Good morning. Good morning. Sorry to wake you early. I just wanted to get out here before the thermals got too bad. But um, Do you think they'll come to you if they hear your voice, or do you think they're going to... No, I think they might come to me. So after waking up Mom nice, bright, and early in the morning, uh, I went back over to where Coco was, and sure enough, the fox was back. Coco! Um, playing his little curiosity game. So I came down again uh, while mom was getting ready, getting her shoes on, getting uh, out of bed, and scared the fox away a second time. And um, off he goes until mom was finally um, up and ready to retrieve. And at that point, uh, Archie and Coco decided to go for a little walk. So uh, good thing they're not very fast runners and they didn't go far. Uh, they only probably made it about 100 feet or so and then slowed down. Uh, making the recovery that much easier for us. Um, access to the property was a little difficult. Uh, we had to go through the neighbor's yard, walk through their field, um, which they're in kind of like a gated property with a big fence. So we called the local PD kind of just to give us a little hand um, to access that property without getting in too much trouble. Well, you brought back up. Yeah, so they're just inside the wood line at the ed end of that field. Okay. Yeah, they're right in the uh, about. They're like fifteen feet inside the wood line. Now they're moving back towards the other field to your left, but it, like in the northwest corner. If you look towards the edge of the field, you can probably see the drone. You see, yeah, we see it. Uh, they're, I, they're coming out to the edge of the field. They're, o they're almost at the edge of the field. Almost at the edge of the field. Are we at the right one? Uh, do, 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 do. I got to turn around. Yep, yeah, you're heading right at him. Okay, Coco! Archie! Slowly. Coco! Here they come. That little nugget, get over here. <laughs> come on, Coco. <laughs> come on, let's go. Come here. Come on, Archie. Come on, Mama. There we go. Come on. <sighs> you are Xavier. I appreciate you so much. I don't know if I would have found them without your handy drone. I'm happy I'm to help. Anyway, very good. Thank you. Yep. Yeah.